This is a vlog about the cranky old man made Thursday 9th of June 2016 about how to stay young. Hard to never move to a senior community or even waste an assisted living home. There's a lot to be said for a senior slash retirement community and if need be assisted living beats the heck out of being left alone and vulnerable. My objection to both these living arrangements is there are too many old people in these venues. Mind you, I love old people. I am an old po I am an old people myself. It is just that hanging with old people makes you, well, old. When I was 60, I associated not with other 60 year olds, but with other parents of 8 year olds. Occasionally I may have been referred to as the old fart, but I was still mostly one of the younger crowd. Talk was of little league, fractions, grade school, teacher conferences, you know, young stuff. I felt young and almost spry. When my oldest brother was ill, I paid a visit to him in North Carolina. I went to his granddaughter's music recital and a party afterwards. I found myself mingling with parents of young children, parents the same age as my crowd back in Jersey. Only now, I was introduced as Grandpa's brother. I immediately felt old. By the time I went back to Jersey, I had arthritis in my hip, I had gained 10 pounds, and what hair I had was growing around the edges. I recovered a little but when my son was taken off to Massachusetts because Jersey judges suck, I lost my youth attachment. When he does visit, he's a teenager now and teens will always make your age. Old people and teenagers are the foundation of my elderly. The only thing that can make me feel older is if on my next birthday I'm told patronisingly that I'm 70 years young. Nothing says they just drop the landing gear on your aeroplane of life than to be told you are XX years young. This is the end of the cranky old man.